Welcome to your Daily Five for Monday, May 27th, 2024. There are reports, rumors really, but they are coming from multiple sources, that Amazon is readying or at some point, I don't think I saw a specific date, but I would imagine it's probably relatively soon based on all the announcements from other companies and the kind of surging AI hype cycle we're in the middle of, that Amazon is preparing to roll out an enhanced version of their Alexa assistant that is enhanced and upgraded by AI and will charge reportedly $20 a month. Now, again, this is all unverified. This is right now rumors. It does make a lot of sense. I think I've said at least in a couple of fives and probably in some of our shows that it is inevitable that people are going to be charged for this stuff. It is not going to be free, but $20 a month from Amazon seems very ambitious for two reasons. One, I think the Alexa product is only really seen as the only thing seen worse than Alexa right now is probably Siri. And I think even that's probably a close one. And the other is that that feels like exceptionally predatory pricing for a product that by all accounts has gotten worse and worse and worse. Now I jumped off Alexa years ago and I've done fives. I know where I've talked about the fact that it was getting worse even before all of this AI hype was coming around. That thing was already degrading. And from what I've read, it's only gotten worse. And so I don't know, is there a fan base or enough of a dedicated user base for Alexa, which has been losing money? There's been a couple of years worth of reports showing how bad that division is doing because they never figured out how to monetize it. I just don't know if this is the path to do that. But it also feels like this might be a floater from Amazon trying to see what the public reaction to a $20 a month price is. And of course, again, it's unverified. This could all get dismantled in five minutes after this thing posts, after the show posts. But as of the recording right now, I have not seen a response from Amazon. There's been no denial, no confirmation, no nothing. It may be they want to see if people really say there's no way we'll pay this and they may lower that price and then say, oh, it was never going to be $20. Also, it feels like this may be what the other companies have been waiting for. Because Google I.O. just happened, Microsoft just did their announcements for Build, where they basically have said, oh, we're putting these tools into all of our products, but I haven't seen a lot of specifics on pricing, or at least not ones that feel as clear-cut as what Amazon has announced here. So what I'm wondering is, and Apple is doing their WWDC event next month in June, I believe, and we expect there's going to be a lot of announcements around AI tools for their product, because Siri could use some kind of help. I just don't know if they've all been waiting to see who would go first. And I don't know if the expectation was going to be $20 a month. I would imagine, because I know with Microsoft, and I think Google has a variation on this too, where they have these bundles where you can have storage and things like Office 365. Apple has some kind of bundle that has fitness and TV and all that type of thing. I would imagine there will be a discounted version of whatever this is in those bundles. But I would be curious what the independent pricing is if you're not in one of those you know, wrap-ups of all their services. I just can't imagine it would be $20. I just can't see a lot of people outside the enterprise. That might be where Microsoft can make their play because they are much more enterprise aligned than certainly Google or Apple are. Maybe they can make a play to say $20 a month at the enterprise level, but I really can't see ordinary users outside of a small dedicated group that find a specific, kind of what is happening with these tools now. The larger public doesn't care or is not interested in it. And people who are dedicated, they're the ones using these things. But I don't know that anybody's going to pay $20 for these things unless they're using them on an almost daily basis. So there's definitely going to be some amount of users who do that. But will it be enough to subsidize these tools, which take a massive amount of resources and still have many problems? The problems will largely probably get worked out over the next five years. But I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know if they can monetize these things in an effective way. And again, Amazon in particular has lost a ton of money on Alexa, a product that does not seem to be performing that well, at least right now. Can this be enough to overcome that? Would people be willing to bet and be interested in paying this much to have a better quote unquote version of Alexa? I don't know. I am not convinced. I'm not saying they couldn't charge anything. I think if it really does bolster the product, you could probably get away with maybe five or ten dollars a month I, I maybe is there even that much of a an alexa fan base left i don't know it's very tough to judge because we saw reports what last year or the year before about how people largely just don't care about voice assistance so now just trying to bolt ai onto it and say we're going to charge you for it i don't know is that strategy going to work now that feels like something they could have done maybe five six seven years ago but I don't know that that's going to work. So I would ask if anybody's still using the Alexa Prox or you know people who were, does this seem feasible? Would you pay $20? Would anyone you know? Because I'll be honest, I just can't see it. Later.